Hello everybody, I just wanted to show a update to uh, one of the designs. Uh, the bottom row is the version 2.0. This is the version 1.0. These were originally made by 2x2 two two very rough pieces of wood and then these are made by uh, 3 quarter inch uh, common board or uh, pine. Um, again kind of uh, improving the process here if you take a look at these these look extremely rough uh, obviously the method of gluing as far as these blocks go and these blocks go are the same uh, the only thing that I do differently as far as these blocks is once they're actually in their configuration uh, they actually go into the cube formation and let me see if I can do this real quick uh, let's see no pressure uh, this one. And that one. And that one. And this one. And that one. So once they're in the cube formation, uh, I actually put six blocks of wood, one on each side, and then it's actually clamped together. That way they'll actually be uh, close to square. Unfortunately, I'm having trouble pushing this square with one hand. Uh, the top row version 1.0 does the exact same thing. Uh, obviously, since these haven't been sanded down as nicely as these, it will still form the same shape. It's just obviously really big. And then... Um, the cube that it forms is very awkward at best even if you're looking down there so um and obviously the size difference uh this is roughly two and a half inches cubed two and a half by two and a half by two and a half and this one should be almost six a two by two so that's going to be one and a half times three so four and a half by four and a half by four and a half um the one thing I wanted to kind of get everyone's thoughts regarding this is first, uh, should I leave it this color? Should I paint the individual pieces to make it um, more appealing to the eye? Uh, should I stain it all one color? Should I leave it bare? Um, I'm just trying to get a idea of if you were going to receive one of these, and since these are going to be donated to the community, uh, what would be the best way of doing it, or should I just keep it simple um, as far as making these? So far I've made uh, roughly 24 of these cubes. Um, again, in between this and the other kit that I'm designing, we're going to be doing 500. I have one other kit that I'm designing right now, so I don't know the exact number of these. That I'll be creating, I'll be at least making a hundred and maybe a hundred and thirty to hundred and fifty. I haven't decided yet, but uh, all in all, it doesn't take too terribly long to make one of these. A uh, very simple wooden puzzle. Um, it takes me roughly six to ten minutes, and then uh, I leave it clamped in for about twenty minutes, and then I give it twenty-four hours to dry. So in between making one, clamping it, letting it sit and make another one, unclamp this one, put that in the first, let it uh, sit for 24 hours, and then I do a brake test on it. I pretend I'm one of the kids, grab it, throw it on the ground, see if the pieces come apart. If it comes apart, then basically I either need to redo something or it's uh, defected. But um, if I get some input from everyone on your thoughts regarding... Um, this project let me know in the comments or send me a private message if you want to keep it private I'm open to suggestions or to hear everyone's input so appreciate your time everyone have a wonderful evening it's extremely humid outside I'm about to go into the garage and get cleaned up but I appreciate your time have a good evening talk to you later